I'd like to take it down for a minute here. There might be, there might be musicians on this stage, but this is not Coachella. We might have movie stars in the crowd. We might have videos on these screens, but this is not the Oscars. And I don't know if you've been looking, but I don't see any Macy's Day balloons out there. This is real life. This is reality. This is what's happening in our country and around the world today. I'd like to make it real for a minute. February 14th is my sister's birthday. She had to spend that birthday huddled under a desk holding Lauren Hogg, David's sister, her hand, hoping that she was going to make it home that day. She was premature. She didn't know if she was going to make it at the beginning of her life and she didn't know if she was going to make it home that day this year. She might have not stared down the shooter's eyes. She might have not even seen him or even known who he was. But he affected her life just as much as everybody else who's spoken on this stage today. And I know a lot of people, a lot of people are out there saying that we, we need to make America safe again. And I know that we can't. We cannot make America safe again until we arm our teachers. We need to arm our teachers. We need to arm them with pencils, pens, paper, and the money they need. They need that money to support their families and to support themselves before they can support the futures in those classrooms, to support the future that sits down at that desk waiting to learn. And we need to arm our students too. We need to arm them with the facts and the knowledge and the education they need to live in the real world, not just some fantasy, not just something painted out there by the public, by the media. We need them to be armed. And there's only one way to do that. This right here, this right here, this connects you to the whole of human information, the whole of human knowledge. It connects you with the click of a button. You can learn anything that I've learned, anything that we've all learned in our journey to this stage right here today. You can learn it just like that. Just go to a website, type it in, and it's there. I've been amazed by what I've seen. I'm amazed that I cannot see the end of this crowd here in D.C. today. I've been amazed by all of the walkouts that have been taking place over the past five weeks. And these walkouts have been criticized. They have been told that it is a disruption to the educational process. And I say to them, the real disruption to the educational process is staring down the barrel of a gun. It's the fact that you can be taking a calculus exam, and then when you're doing that, you have in the back of your head the thought that where's the shooter gonna enter? When's he gonna come in? Where can I hide? We're done hiding. We're done being afraid. We're done being full of fear because it is a waste of our time and it is not living out what our forefathers, what our founding fathers envisioned for this country. Life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness. And now I know we march today, but this isn't over. This is the beginning of the end and from here we fight. It is time to fight for our lives. And I say there's only one way to do that. We need to rev up society. We need to rev up the engines. We need to rev up America. And we do that through registering to vote. We need to do that through every single walkout. We will be making sure that you can register to vote, pre-register to vote. Then we will educate. We'll be going around the country until these elections and therefore after, until we can tell every man, woman, and child in this country what is real what is going on, and we need to make sure that everyone knows what is actually happening in their backyard and, in, and abroad. So we will register, we will educate, and then when it comes down to it, we will vote. They, they might preach NRA, they might preach GUN, but we're preaching REV. Register, educate, vote. Thank you. And hello, Uncle Myron.